everyone it's lola here again i welcome you all back to my kitchen so today we are going to be making banana muffins if you have three very ripe bananas 30 minutes and a couple of pantry staples you are good to go so let's go ahead and put everything together i've got my all-purpose flour here and to that i'm going to be adding my baking powder and salt I'll go ahead and mix that together until everything is well combined. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to be peeling my three ripe bananas inside another bowl. Then I'll go ahead and just mash it up with a fork. You can also use a potato masher for this but you know, a fork will also do a good job. You see, it takes pretty much less than a minute to just mash this all together. I think this is good now. So I'll go ahead and add one egg, my melted butter. And if you don't want to use melted butter, you can also go for a good vegetable oil. In goes my sugar. And for some flavorings, I'm going to be adding vanilla extract. You can also use cinnamon. And if you like, just, you know, leave it plain. Now I'll go ahead and whisk all this together until everything is well combined. So now I'll go ahead and add my flour mixture. Everything at once. Just fold everything together. You have to be careful at this point. You don't want to whisk it vigorously or over stir it because the more you stir it, the more it becomes dense. You want something really light and fluffy. So my butter came together pretty well. It's now time to put this inside the muffin pan. I've got my muffin pan here. I'm just putting my liner inside. And if you don't have the liners, feel free to just spray it with a good cooking spray. I'll just go ahead and scoop in my butter inside each of the muffin pan. I'll go ahead and place this in my 350 degrees preheated oven and I'm going to be baking them for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they are golden brown on the surface. Here we go guys, our muffins are all done. As you can see they look beautiful. So I'm just going to leave this for a little bit to cool down. Alright guys, let's see how this looks like on the inside. Look at that. It's so soft and fluffy. Who's not going to enjoy this? <laughs> All right, guys, that is it again for today. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. As usual, all the details you need to today's recipe can be found in the description box below. And also, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell as well so you can get notified of all my posts. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy.